fuck your heart One squeeze, not the boss, Lord, yeah Nation, the entertainment feed community. Bless upon yourself, on the Wednesday here, turn the Wednesdays. Because I have a long piece of article for read, never just jump in it right away. Wanna know about Spice and her baby father ongoing drama? Well, the baby father did an interview with the Jamaica star. And here's where the baby father of say. The article headlined, I am not the enemy. Father of Spice's children dismisses the beat label. Nicholas Lal, the father of Spice's two children, is asking the question, what makes a man a deadbeat dad? For the past three years, allegations of deadbeats have dug the father of four, but he told the star that this accusation is only hurled at him by Spice, with whom he shares his two youngest, his only son and his daughter. The DJ recently went toe to toe with Instagram users who suggested better co parenting between her and Lal. Admit her response was a claim that she had to seek counseling for her son because of the jamming screenshots Lal sends to the child. This is the last straw that broke the camel's back, and now Lal is bearing his truth. It breaks my heart because nothing goes like that, Lal told the star. I have received so many messages from people about this that I decided to speak up. I don't want him to be bullied when he goes to his new school September morning because of this. Lal surprised his son at his recent prep school graduation, a reunion three years in the making. It was very emotional, but did have to stand up strong and do everything not to cry, stated Lal. Lal said that he was told about the graduation by his son, whom he has been in contact with as he owns a phone. I found out about the graduation the day before and went straight from the airport to the school. He didn't know how I was coming, it was a surprise and it worked, stated Lal, adding that he was especially glad to be there because his son's mother was absent. The mother of the year was not at her son's graduation, his grandmother, his aunt and his sister were there, stated Lal. She went on social media and posted pictures of my son in a red suit. My son graduated in a blue gown. When my daughter saw me, she, she came over to me. The few days that I was in Jamaica, I took them to visit their cousins and their other relatives. And they even spent a night with me. My love for my children comes from my heart, not from my pockets. Lal earned the wrath of his baby mother after posting the video of his attendance at the graduation. She took to social media to blast him for his lack of financial support, an accusation Lal confirmed. When we broke up in 2016, I left the relationship with nothing. When we got together in 2006, I had my little business where I would buy crash cars, fix them up and sell them back. After a while, we made the decision to focus on Spice's career. And I spent 10 years doing that. I was her manager, her roadie, whatever. The only thing I didn't do was to put makeup on her face. It was a joke among some in the business that if one of Spice's dancers took sick, then I would have to go on stage and dance. He explained that he decided to invest in himself by attending college and try to assist his kids when he was back on his feet. I went overseas and then enrolled in school, so there was really no money for me to send, stated Lal. When things started to get a little brighter, I tried to make contact, if it was even to send 100 US, but there was no way to reach anybody because I was cut off, nobody was speaking to me, numbers were changed and I had no contact. Lal said that if he could speak directly to Spice, he would tell her, I am not the enemy, stop treating me like one, the only thing I want is to see my youth without any animosity. So in the ear walk one there's a people and because of that article because of a delicate speech from a spice a baby father spice took it to Instagram to burn a fire upon our baby daddy you were spice baby father for say oh after this still spice baby father came out and burn a fire people but we can't show it to them at the same time though so check out spice recent life so the first thing we hear people are say oh me ears should take my phone from the kids i buy those phones let's be clear i buy phones for my kids and i add a s to it because my son is 11 years old now my daughter is eight years old them broke up the phone every second every minute they mash it up and when them not have a phone them fuss and them cry and them mommy i want this phone and that phone and let me also be clear me can't buy no e that phone give them two pitney there because they might tell us that they want iphone them want iPhone and them want this and them that because I saw them kids are big now so you can imagine how much iPhone me buy give my kids them no care them age because of that them want and every minute they mash up a phone how can you even comment and say me I take my phone from the kids I bought them I bought them for a reason so that they can use it to communicate so where you talk if I wanted to hide her from you or no communication I never have to buy no phone give them okay and me buy the phone and give them so stop talk
talk about phone because you've never bought one. You've never bought one. The internet bill is cheap. You've never paid it. I make sure every month there's internet there so they've never lost communication. Okay? So let me jump in it because you run to a star and you're going to do interview and you're sending your picture. You do photo shoot and you're sending your picture dress up in a white and you're skin a teeth like you think it's funny. It's not funny. So you need to stop because you know the truth. Me go talk about my baby father first and then when me clear it, me talk about baby father and a whole period. Because I see you make a statement in the star, nothing on Guan, and it's the most famous Jamaican sentence from men. And if nothing on Guan for you, I understand say I'm a famous sentence. Something for always are going for the mother, though. But the mother for always find it, and the mother for always have it. That need for stop. So any man with them on my Instagram with our father or one who stop talk but who not have it because the people them have to eat and I'm sure not eat every single day. I'm sure no so not eat all when nothing on go on who not a eat same way so the kids have to eat. So when you know say nothing on go on so what the mother for do? Something for go on for she right through the year. Just like oh me take care of my kids them from birth right through. You are gonna say oh you did gone for, for three years and nothing on go on. Then suppose me did say that. First thing Nicholas. I'm here calling you because I want, if you sue me, you have a good reason to sue me. So you can't, if I'm not calling you, you can't sue me. But I'm calling you because I want you to be able to sue me because when I talk, I talk facts. And I have my receipt when I talk. I'm not, not talk foolishness. Nicholas Lala, you me talk. My baby father, you me talk. You lie and wicked if you stop telling life for me. The first thing you do, you talk about say, alright, you know what, I'm going to take a deep breath. I have this phone in my hand, my new phone. I forward some message to it, right? And me know why some man believes say, oh, I saw she stay, she saved message. You know why I'm always I save my message them? I only save my message from wicked people. Because me come like a reader woman. Me scared read up some man. So sometimes when they're around me, I laugh and I skin on the teeth. Me read up a long time. Yeah, me a reader woman. So if me, if a message for save, me know for save it. Come me know so I'm not going to come back one day and say this and say that. Just like on the tell life for me a while, I may ever have my receipt. So yeah, me know I'm not going to laugh now. I'm not going to believe, right? But look, let's take a quick look. Wanna see? Tell me, wanna see? These messages are from 2015, okay? First of all, let's get down into it and let's do it the right way. These messages in my phone. Can you see them? Let me, well, let me turn around the camera. Wait, yeah, see there. Wanna can see them? I want to make sure so you can see it. If you can't see it, you can talk so you can see them. I just want to know if you can see these, these messages. screenshot everything and I saved them from 2015. Nicholas Lal, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop telling lie on me and stop playing with me. Because if me post one of this, you're going to tie a rope up in our ceiling. Mm, you just hear we go on people. My name go come in pond that. I just go run the baby for the life and on the ear walk on. People, check out Nicholas Lal. Enough is enough, man. I hear now me I wallet, Miss Hamilton. Years. I may never come forward and try for disrespect. Never ever, because what? Uh, me have respect for my youth them. So me wall, enough things. And you come talk say you have things can post, post anything you want post. Because remember, when me did that, me never in my right mind. So because you had me under a spell, I don't know what you did to me. But guess what? Father God set me free. You know what I mean? And just a rich feelings know everything. No grace. It's not rich feelings. RT, Nado, Nado Smith, RT, your spiritual advisor, the one who you make do all of the something them for you, all of the things where I don't know about, where you're deep in. And them things that you have to talk about, man. Just go and big up yourself, Grace. Enough of that. You say, I'm a deadbeat father. All right, Grace, I'm a deadbeat father. I accept that I'm a deadbeat father. Are you willing now? Are you willing now to make this deadbeat be? Him kids them heartbeat like when we used to be. Because that is all me always want to be. 
for my youth them. And you know that you know the truth. So what you are trying to say? Bash me all you want, come out with all your negative. But this is what I say. Post anything you want post. Because guess what? Me and you know something never in my right mind. Because guess what? That ties up the way they do to me. Father God set me free. I pray enough in a grace. Rub out my knee up them. You see what I say? But if you always make the people them know say. I know God you get your blessing from. You know what I mean? Don't make me get deep. Have a good day. Now we are going to take a look over the international side of things. ASAP Rocky got to hold on in us. Something like that. Um, but I think the reason why I'm getting locked up, some reporters are paparazzi are following him and him decide to turn around and throw punches off of the people and must beat them up. So they mole on him over there. Now he wants to speak out and say, yo, him now get good treatment over there. The, the prison facility them over there just shaky. Him the like where he's being kept and so on. The people them are burn out is up Rocky still because uh, some time ago him seem to make a speech saying that him no, him can relate to the Black Lives Matter movement and them kind of thing there. And you don't know that I got upset a whole lot of people. If you're a black man, I say him can't relate to the Black Lives Matter. But the people them are laugh off him now and I say, hey, Black Lives must matter now, don't. But I'm um, Nicki Minaj, I don't know if she had defend ASAP Rocky, but this is what Nicki Minaj took it to Twitter to say. I performed in Jamaica before and when I got off the stage I was surrounded by police with guns drawn. They were ready to take me to jail because they said I forgot to be out a couple curses. I could make one mistake and go to jail in a different country where women have no rights. Hashtag free ASAP. Now people, <laughs> men don't know how Jamaica reach in a dot, you know. I never did know that Nicki, Nicki Minaj uh, come to Jamaica perform and uh, when you step off a stage, the police them uh, find gonna fire and say, yo, you cause a couple bad words, you know, you know, so that's illegal in Jamaica. So we are going to take it to a jail cell. We never know after that, you know. But at the same time, ASAP Rocky thing are going and uh, for Nicki Minaj uh, to put Jamaica under such fire, make people look from where we are a place, you are going to compare with place to where uh, um, uh, women have no rights. Why you do something like that? Of course, women have <laughs> women have whole heap of rights in a Jamaica and a whole lot of rights. And I'm not gonna say nothing more upon that Nikki because uh, Jamaicans they are like everywhere people. And Nikki Minaj just say making a, a statement like that. You know, say there are gonna be Jamaicans caricature about that statement there. There are many people we well, see massive them from Jamaica, but I just gonna read one post. Move your blood clot, wicked girl, and stop call Jamaica name. No police never saw you with guns drawn when you came here for some fest. Johnny Gorzan warned you and every artist not to use profanity on stage, but the King Kong in you felt mighty. The only thing happened was you paid a fine, but don't lie, say police drew guns at you. Hey, uno come talk to that girl you know. And just one more people, same thing me ask. The fuck Jamaica have to do with this? SMH, fuck out of here. You see what time o'clock, you see what time I'm going to up and get the fuck out of here. And as usual, my people. Self Nation, the entertainment feed community. No love and blessings from the Monday year blazing Mondays and night times so the blaze gone, but online the blaze warm, well warm. A few months back, when we make on the no say selector, sorry, this jack slash radio us. Weed seed from Sun City Radio, big up Pokemon Radio, same way, Sun City Radio. Mm-hmm. But weed seed start the music, people, and the man are gone. A few months back, weed seed, I think he might go by the name Starboy. I think I'm 